directly p1 incident cannot be created so let's understand today's requirement um so somebody is saying that if somebody trying to create a incident which is p1 right in that case we don't want to create that incident okay so let's do implement that so if i go back to that incident module under this incident module we have a uh, priority and priority calculate based on impact and urgency right so this is the priority and this priority is uh, calculated based on that impact and urgency so if you see that impact is 1 and then urgency is 1 then priority is 1 right so what they are trying to say that if the priority is 1 we should not allow them to create the incident into the system directly to implement that um, um what we can do we can write the business rule so let's do that first we'll go to the business rule module so the objective is that if somebody trying to create that we we won't uh, let you create that okay so we'll go to that uh, business rule module here under the system definition i am going to create a new business rule and this business rule will be on before business rule because before creating that we are going to stop um allow them or uh, before creating this incident we will validate and stop creating them right so that it will be during the insert uh table will be incident we'll put some name let's do that one by one and then advance it will be before let's put the name call okay now here we can directly uh uh let's first select the table name so this is the p1 now uh, we can directly put the filter condition here uh, for example you can select the priority equal to uh, 1 else we can write this directly in the code under the action we have a check box called abort action we can directly implement that and using that we can implement whatever requirement they are looking for but as it is a scripting class i am going to write in the script first requirement or first things they are saying that if the priority is 1 right so how do we check that priority is 1 we will say that if current dot what is the field name of the priority the priority field name is that back end name is also priority if current priority equal to equal to 1 then we are going to stop restricting or stop creating them before that if we want to put some message call gs dot add error message we can put that we can show some message like you cannot create p1 incident directly okay so this way we can actually uh check that whether uh, i mean this, this way we can show the message and then how we can stop them right to stop them we can simply write one line of code called current dot set about action in bracket we can just mention the true so if we push that current dot set about action equal to in bracket we, if we pass that true system on let them create any uh, incident so let's save that so let's understand one more time in the script we are validating that if current dot priority equal to equal to 1 will show an message and will will not them create the incident the similar functionality can be done by condition and then action under that we have a about action and we have a message we can do that but i am not doing as part of this scripting class now let's refresh that and try to implement or uh, try to create a incident with the p1 and let's see what is happening so we are going to select the caller call system administrator and impact is high urgency is high priority is 1 and let's put some short description and try to save that and you can see simply it is showing that you cannot create p1 incident directly and invalid insert and if we refresh that it's actually or if you see in the top it actually did not generate any csid it means that 
system simply ignored to database submission okay and it did not create any kind of incident in the back end so that's it for today if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day